Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Lyndon Peterson here, Pastor Lyndon Peterson here once again. And uh, I'm coming back to you on this podcast today. And um, I'm hoping that you are well. Thanks for listening in. If you are listening in, it's uh, been absolutely amazing to see from the last podcast we did one and a half weeks ago to see the people that have been listening. And so I just want to say thank you for listening in. It's, um, it's really encouraging for us knowing that we are on the right track doing what we're doing and just um, um, engaging with us has been really, really, really encouraging. So hello from my side, uh, quick introduction, just to say hello, hope you've had, uh, hope you are well and that things are going well with you. Hope, uh, hope you voted <laughs> uh, last week. And uh, um, we must say that we are, we are going through a couple of changes just regarding our, our um, social media platforms. And uh, if you've been uh, looking up and checking uh, Rhema Worship out, you may have seen some changes that have been happening. What is going on is we are migrating from our current um, uh, we- um, social media platforms and uh, moving over to something new, a new look, a new feel, a new design, a new logo. Because we feel like change is good. We feel like new things are good. And um, moving into just moving into this year, the rest of this year, we feel like change is good. There's a lot of changes I'm going to be sharing with you in the music ministry that's taking place. And so we're very, very excited. And so once again, thanks for coming along this journey with us. As I mentioned earlier on, our social media handles are are, are changing. Um, uh, You could continue to follow us at Rhema Worship. And we are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud. Um, those are our social media networks and to or social media handles. And um, soon we're going to be um, getting our own website going. So we're pretty excited about that. And that's really to engage with you, to um, to give content that you can enjoy. I really think like, especially on social media platforms, um, it, it, to always have good content that can feed your souls, feed your spirit is always good. And that's what these podcasts are about. And so, hey, what's up to you? Uh, if you're listening in, please give us a shout out if you if you can. And so moving on to this year for the Raymond Music Ministry, um, our vision this year, you may have heard me say the statement a couple of times, but is simply looking forward. Uh, looking forward can have various, uh, you, you can look at that in various ways. You can say, hey, I'm looking forward to greeting you. I'm looking forward to meeting with you. I'm looking forward to being with you. Or that you are looking forward to what is to come. And that is our heart's desire. As I mentioned in our last podcast, that um, we uh, are celebrating 40 years of, of ministry uh, with Rhema, Pastor Ray. It's an incredible ministry this year. And we are looking forward to what the future holds. We are looking forward to the next season. We are looking forward to what God wants to do moving forward. There's a younger generation that's coming through that's excited, do things a bit differently. Um, music sound is a bit different. Heart is just full of God, full of passion. And uh, we need to look forward to what is to come because if the journey starts and ends with you and me, what a sad thing or what a sad place that is uh, to be at. I'm sure you and I are great people, (laughs) but as great as we are, we got to continue to look forward. And our anchor, it's always good to have anchoring scriptures to anchor what you believe in because it solidifies and anchors really what you believe in. It's taken from Psalms 121 and uh, simply says, I will lift up my eyes to the wards, the hills. And I love this whole lifting up my eyes um, thing because it talks about that. I, I need to gaze up. I need to look up. You know, uh, we, we're, we're aware in our country specifically right now of the stats of depression. I was listening the other day and hearing some of the stats of depression, in, even within our young people. And I just thought, you know, our young people, we we need to lift up our eyes because if our heads are down, we, we cannot look forward. We cannot be excited about what is to come. And you know, God works with faith. That's how he works is faith. And sometimes we don't know the answer or the direction, but we need to keep moving and looking forward. And so Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. And this whole lifting up my eyes means that we are looking forward. And then number two, Hebrews 12 verses two, we're not just lifting up our eyes to a vision or to a cool concept or to a cool music or a cool idea, but Hebrews 12 verses two says, looking unto Jesus. He's the author of it all, right? The scripture goes on to say the author and the finisher of it all who, 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 who has gone before us. He endured the cross, despising the shame, and he has sat down at the right hand of God. And so God is, Jesus is our example. He's the one that we look to. He's, he's the one, he, he's the reason we do what we do. And so we're not just looking up as a music ministry to a, a person, to a thing, to a motto, to a creed. No, we're looking unto Jesus. Once again, this looking, 
this gazing, this stance of looking forward. And that's our vision this year in our conversations, in our, in our rehearsals, in our, in our worship, in, in how we do things, in how we engage as a team, that we are looking forward, that we are looking up, that we have expectations, that we are positive. We are not negative about situations. We are positive. Yes, things may be going wrong. Yes, these, these are hard situations, but what's the solution? What's the answer? How can we look forward? And so that's our, our desires to look forward this year is to move forward. And so within these podcasts, you, you're going to be hearing a lot more about, uh, about worship, about looking forward. Um, so keep, keep tuned to that. But very quickly, this year we are very excited about the fact that for many years, Rainbow Worship has not done its own original music. And so this year we are recording and um, our own original music. We've started already. And uh, you know what's so amazing is the, there are just young people who are engaged in writing songs and writing music and, and have their own f- flair and, 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 and spin on things. And it's just so amazing for me. The talent is just so incredible. And I'm so encouraged to, to, be, to be a part of this. And so our vision for this year is, of, of course, our week-to-week uh, ministry that we do in church. We also have a desire to care for our people. Um, we, we have a big team. We have 122 people within our worship ministry, all across our worship ministry. And it's important for me and for us as leadership that we look after our people the best possible way that we can. We don't always get it right, but we, we desire to look after our people. And so we, we, we have care bears. We have care bear leaders who lead our people effectively. If there's needs, if there's, uh, um, even if it's financial needs, we try to meet those needs. We try to, we try to do what the book of Acts says, you know, um, that if, that if there's a need that we can meet it uh, in Jesus' name. And so that, that's very, very important to us. You know, I, I just believe that if your people are healthy, what will come from the stage will be healthy. If your people are well, not perfect, but if your people have a sense of wellness, have a sense that there is care, that there's a, there's a sense of, of looking after, it's, it's just the way it should be. And so that's very important for us. And then number three, I mentioned early on, new music. Yes, we are engaging with new music this year. We... Um, we are uh, we are recording during the course of this year, and we're going to be putting out some singles, um, and and we are launching uh, this album in October, the 40th birthday of Rama of Rama Church. We are launching um, the, our new music, and so we're very excited about it. And it's just it's really about worship. It's really about songs, our expression of worship for Rama and the sound that of where it's at right now. Some of us may remember the days of Praise Africa. Well, praise God, as good as those days were. There is something new, something fresh taking place, and I'm very excited. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to be a part of leading an incredible dynamic team that we're involved in here in Rhema Worship. So be on the lookout for us in, in time to come. We're going to be sharing a, a worship series, short worship series, just, just, just a couple of minutes, five to seven minutes long, that we will engage with you on worship. We want to hear about you, about what, what's happening in your life, and uh, hopefully you can engage with us. So God bless you. Thank you. And we are... Looking forward. God bless.